Hello fellow sin enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's classic movie I will be reviewing for you is the Swedish 1938 film starring my heart of hearts and idol of idols, Ingrid Bergman. This is a Swedish film that she made before she came to America and it is so good. If you're thinking the title sounds familiar, that's because MGM decided to remake it in the 40s with Joan Crawford and because I love Ingrid Bergman so much, I will not see that, but I'm not going to get into that discussion. Let me tell you about this version of A Woman's Face. So this version of A Woman's Face is about a woman named Anna Holm, of course played by Ingrid Bergman. Um, Anna is the ringleader of a group of blackmailers. Uh, she's the only woman, but she is in charge. You hear her from the other room at first, you don't see her right away, and you're like, woof, definitely the boss. And um, Anna is, she's rough. She's very cold, she's emotionless, because when she was a child, she had half her face burned and scarred, and her life was just really rough after that you know everybody would look at her and think she was hideous they would you know like you know back away from her and everything so she just learned to be a bitter person and kind of be like a really tough and very stern i i guess you can say that but she just she's not a very nice person the group had been doing this job on this woman and her uh, lover and they had letters from the lover or from the woman to her lover and they're like okay well your husband is a doctor let's get all the money we can get out of you then Anna starts getting very greedy and she wants more money and this woman can't get it for her like right away and uh, so Anna goes over to this woman's house and you know she has the letters the woman goes and leaves and unfortunately the husband comes home and Anna goes to run out the door without the doctor seeing her but or run out the window and Anna falls hurts her ankle and the doctor sees that she has a messed up face and uh, Anna while she was hiding she had seen a book of photographs from World War One of the doctor's work that he had done reconstructing soldiers' faces. So the doctor looks at her and is like, oh, you know, we, I could fix your face. And the wife is like all, you know, frantically freaking out because Anna has the letters and all that. She doesn't want her husband to find out, you know, the whole big mess. But um, Anna gets her face done. And of course she looks like Ingrid Bergman. She looks like a very lovely 20, 23 year old Ingrid Bergman and um, Anna isn't as bitter. She still wants to do some of the blackmailing. Uh, so the, the group had taken on another blackmailing job through this guy whose family was influential. I, I don't know the whole big deal, but I think he was his uncle and the uncle is like a council in Sweden. I don't know exactly what for. So this guy, Torsten Baring, uh, sends Anna, who he doesn't even realize is Anna, she changed her name, and uh, you know, he hires Anna uh, based off of Anna's suggestion. Um, she kind of like hires herself, weird situation. But um, so now Anna's going to be a governess for his nephew, for this guy's nephew, I think. Um, it's this old council's grandson, little grandson. So, you know, at first she's she's a little mean. She's like, all right, we're gonna kill this kid. We're gonna get a lot of money, all this stuff. And then she really comes to love him, like, because her face isn't nasty. She's being shown what love is and what kindness is and all that. So she's like, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do it. And there comes a whole big mess. And the ending is a bit of a mess, but it's it's really good. A woman, This version of a woman's face is excellent. And if you guys can find it, definitely definitely watch it uh, I have a pack of Ingrid Bergman Swedish movies well three of them anyway um, Intermezzo a woman's face and I think the other one is called one night in June and all three of them are great but I really really liked Ingrid Bergman in a woman's face because you can see how fantastic of an actress she is you can see how from just such an early age she had this incredible 
range and this incredible talent you know it was just so natural you can tell she loved getting deep into these characters like you really don't like her you know you you kind of, but at the same time you kind of feel bad for for anna you feel bad for this character and that's what i like that's what i think makes ingrid bergman one of the greatest actresses ever she just knew how to make good characters how to act really good characters she was just great she was just so fantastic in this movie and just seeing her from a young age like you know this swedish director um gustav molander i believe that's how you pronounce his name he had directed her in a couple of uh swedish movies and he knew he he knew right away that she was very special the directing was really really good i have this idea and this um perception of foreign films that there's a little bit more care and uh, quality that goes into the directing. I don't know. It's probably just me. I'm not saying there's like bad American directors or, or Hollywood movies, but I think like with foreign movies, there's just this certain quality that isn't there in American movies. And it was a little obvious, you know, even back then, back in, in the 30s, that you know there was just a, a quality there was something superior to a foreign film compared to an american film i just i love the camera angles i love the different perspectives like when we see and for the first time we see it through like her face when her face is all messed up we see it through her eyes and how much she hates herself you know we see her look in the mirror and then we see her face and then again we don't see when her face is all fixed up we don't see it right away but we see it through how she sees it you know through her eyes and i really really like that i thought it was great it was almost like you know, when they're doing the reveal of her reconstructed face, it's keeping us in suspense. You're like, oh, come on, come on, come on. I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to see your face. And uh, I loved it. And I loved the different camera angles and, you know, when they're showing that. And, oh, God, it was just great. I really, really like a woman's face. I hope you guys can go find this film. Maybe it's on YouTube, but they might not have subtitles. Anywhere you can find this, definitely go give this a watch, especially if you're a big Ingrid Bergman fan and you have yet to see some of her Swedish films. So that was my review slash mostly rambling of a woman's face from 1938 the swedish version not the american version from the 40s starring joan crawford if you liked this review slash ramble of a woman's face from 1938 please give this video a thumbs up leave your comments down below if maybe you have seen a woman's face leave your comments if you really really love ingrid bergman because i can talk about her all day i love her i have a whole bunch of books on her I would love, love, love to talk about Ingrid Bergman. Leave your favorite movies of hers, whatever you want. Let's just talk about her. And if you have any suggestions of what I should watch, be them old movies or newer movies, let me know in the comments. And if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it, I'll give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Let's Get Reels and Classic Movie Thursday reviews. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.